Hello there, Kenny Payone here with Sanctuary Huntsville. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little tour uh, of the building. So you can see it behind me. I'm here on uh, Governor's Drive. Actually, uh, you can see Stove House. Like, let's see, you can see Stove House right, right back there. Right behind me, you can see Campus 805. Right over there, Blue Plate Cafe, one of my favorite places to eat on Saturday mornings. And so yeah, this is where the building is. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, so welcome inside. This is uh, the lobby area. Uh, obviously not completely open yet, so everything is still under construction and everything is within question as it always is in the creative industry. And that's what we're here to do is to produce creativity, to encourage creativity, and to encourage people to use new technology to be creative. So yeah, uh, over here we've got a little retail area. So uh, if you were a creator and you have an Etsy shop or you wanna start making stuff and selling stuff, maybe starting your own uh, small business, this is exactly what that's for. We wanna promote you, we wanna help you get your stuff out there and get it known uh, and get it sold. So yeah, we come right through here. There's my little office right over there. Uh, I'm usually there from about seven in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon. And then we walk right into our shops. So um, still working on a lot of our shop stuff, but this is our carpentry side and this is our mechanic side. So tons of room and a big roll of door to just drive your car right into the building. You've actually got straight access uh, just behind the building. So you can drive in here, work on your vehicle, uh, do anything that you need to do, all with basic hand tools, uh, milling tools, uh, engine crane, uh, great ventilation, all that great sort of stuff, uh, and just tons of space to work. And with our carpenter side, we got tons and tons of power tools, uh, tons of uh, working materials and things like that. Uh, perfect for just about any project. Now the next part that I want to show you is the part that has not been touched at all. And this is the part where I want to give you like a before look before it opens here in a couple of months. So we're going to go upstairs to the very unfinished uh, areas that will become our textile, media and design, audio, 3D printing, and video and photography areas. And I'm going to show you what they look like now so that when they open, it'll be even that much more uh, impressive. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you around and then show you what it's going to become. Okay, so here we are upstairs. Now this room uh, is as big as the carpentry and mechanics shops, but it's divided into a couple of different areas. Uh, and you can kind of see that based on the drum set that's sitting right there. The t-shirt press is sitting right there. The camera and soft boxes that are sitting in this area. And the 3D printer that's sitting over there. So this building, this top part, will be divided into five different sections. The pink that you see on the floor is gonna be our audio area. So you can see a nice big door. I'll go over that here in a split second. It's kind of interesting why it's so large. We've got one room right here with all these boxes right here. This will be our control room. And then the second room right here will be our live room. So we'll have a, a space for you to rehearse uh, and do a little bit of recording. Both rooms will be totally isolated. So you can actually be producing music on this side and somebody re uh, rehearsing on this side and not be affecting the two, as well as gotta have some storage space, right? So next we have 3D printing. As you can tell by our little snap makers that are set up in here, we've got our uh, snap maker 2.0s. Here's the 150 and the 350. As you can see, we've already been running test cubes and all that sort of good stuff. Um, but we've got a lot of work to do in this room. If we turn right around against this wall, we're gonna see all these power outlets and this is gonna be our media and design area. So we're gonna have two Macs and two PCs, uh, all four of them 64 gig RAM plus. Uh, loaded with Adobe Creative Cloud. Anything you could ever want out of that is gonna be right here, as well as our nice little laser printer, which happens to be sitting on its own box over there. Now we have our textile area. Now, this 
already houses our t-shirt. Uh, it's our heat press that we make all of our t-shirts with for our members. Uh, and then we will also have uh, a rug gun. We'll also have uh, leather material, leather working materials, as well as uh, sewing materials, uh, all sorts of good stuff. But again, just like the rest of this upstairs area, gosh, there's so much work to be done in here, but there's still so much potential. Now we'll come around this area. This is the door to the magic land of Narnia. Uh, we turn left, we ignore that completely, and we go straight into our photography and video area. So uh, we're gonna be finishing this out with a, a nice little psych and some other little areas. I think it's gonna be a great space uh, to do interviews. It's gonna be a great space to do some headshots, some creative pictures, uh, as well as doing some fun uh, lighting testing. And we're gonna be doing unboxing videos in here. We're gonna do all sorts of fun stuff in this area once it's been built out. Back to audio, we walk across. This is gonna be our little seating area. Uh, as you can see, there's a nice little door. Uh, for all of you flat earthers out there, this is confirmation that the world is in fact flat. If you walk out of this door, you will drop off the face of the planet. That's how that works. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, why in the world is this door so big? This door is like five feet wide. Why is that? So let me explain. And this is probably the coolest part about the entire upstairs area is that all these pink lines on the outside have to deaden all of the sound coming from outside, but also it has to deaden the sound that reverberates from downstairs. So uh, all of these vents are gonna be um, deadened so that the sound doesn't come up through them. And what absorbs sound better than paper? And you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Let me tell you, these outside walls are going to be, or going to make up a library. And we're gonna start collecting books here soon to finish this out. So the entire outside of the audio area is gonna be our own community library. Now back to this door. This door is gonna be a Murphy door. It's going to be a five foot bookcase that will open up into the audio rooms. So we are super excited to be able to build this. We're gonna build it downstairs in our carpenter shop and move the parts up and assemble it uh, all in house. So we're super excited to uh, have the opportunity to do something like that, do something so cool, uh, and then bring it all to life and have uh, the community come and check out all of the nice things that we're gonna have built up here. So as you can see, there is so much work to be done up here uh, and there is so little time to do it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna leave you to your day and I'll see you soon.